Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the concept of vertical traversal, top view traversal, and the bottom view traversal of a binary tree. You already have uh, gone through the concept, the level of the traversal. In case not, please uh, go through my previous video in which I have discussed about the level of the traversal, because this uh, vertical top and bottom view traversal can be found only through the level of the traversal. So we can also say that uh, the level of the traversal plus the hash table become uh, will uh, will actually help me to find out these three traversal methods so to go for uh, these traversal methods let's uh, start with uh, understanding that uh, how the concept of the horizontal distance will help me in, in getting these three traversals and what the horizontal distance is uh, usually we take the horizontal distance of the root node as zero and we assume that the elements lying towards the left of the root node will have less horizontal distance with reference to the root and the nodes lying towards the right of the root node will have more uh, horizontal distance than the root. For example, if 7 is the root and 4 is the left child of uh, 7, then we can say that the horizontal distance of 4 is 1 less than the horizontal distance of root 7. So let's say the horizontal distance of 4 is minus 1. Similarly, uh, since the 11 number nodes or uh, the node containing information 11 is lying towards the right of 7, so it will have more horizontal distance than the root node. So let's assume that it is 1 more than the horizontal distance of the root. So we will use this convention only for finding where the nodes are lying and what is the horizontal distance. So if uh, the node is towards the left, we will take the horizontal distance as 1 less than the parent and if the node is there in the, on the right, we will take horizontal distance 1 more than the parent. When you will go for the implementation of uh, these three traversal methods, along with the three information that you usually store in the binary tree nodes, for example, there is one data item that you need to store one is the left address and one is the right address. Along with this, you need to have the horizontal distance parameter also, which will be the integer value. So let's start the traversal. And uh, for doing the traversal, we are making use of a queue and we're making use of a hash table also. In the hash table, the rows are specified as uh, uh, the row number zero, which will be you uh, storing the information about the horizontal distance zero nodes and then minus one that will be storing the horizontal distance minus one nodes and row number minus two which will be representing the horizontal distance minus two nodes and so on and so forth similarly row number plus one will be representing the nodes with the horizontal distance plus one at plus two number row will be storing the nodes with horizontal distance plus two and plus 3 will be storing the horizontal distance plus 3 nodes. Fine, how, we, how can we find out the total number of rows in the hash table? You first will have to find out the height of the binary tree. For the, the given binary tree, the height is 3. So the uh, range of the row numbers will vary from minus 3 to plus 3. It means you can also say that minus 3 to plus 3 including 0. So there will be a total of 7 rows. So if the height is 7, the total number of rows in our hash table will be equals to 2 into h plus 1. Now having uh, found the uh, total number of rows in the uh, hash table, let's find out the traversals with the help of the level order traversal. And we are making use of the queue. Whenever we will be exploring the nodes, we will be storing them in the queue only. So the first thing that we will do, we will be setting up the horizontal distance of uh, root node 7 as 0 will be storing 7 in the queue and will be storing 7 in the zero number row of the hash table. It should also be seen that uh, the uh, hash table entries have been initialized to 0. We are assuming that uh, the no data item in the binary tree will have information 0. So the zero initialization will help me to find out the location where should we store the data element in the hash table. For example, in the zero number row, the first data item that should be stored it should be there in the first column because in the first column we have 0. So 0 is indicating that it is a blank entry. So let's store 7 here. Now after this, we'll remove this node from the queue 
and uh, we'll find out the left child of the root uh, of 7 which is 4 4 is on the left side so its horizontal distance will be 1 less than the parent so it is minus 1 and then uh, 7 uh, on the right of the 7 we have 11 so horizontal distance of 11 will be 1 more than the parent so it is plus 1 so both of these elements will be stored in the queue 4 the left child and the 11 the right child and both of these have to be stored in the hash table also so 4 should be stored in the minus 1 row number so it has to be 4 here and 11 to the right hand side it means at the plus 1 row number so 11 has to be stored here in the plus 1 row next we have to delete this 4 4 has a left child and the right child as well so for the right child for the left child of 4 that is 2 we have to set the horizontal distances minus 2 so 2 is stored getting stored in the queue and the 2 is getting stored in the hash table also in the row number minus 2 after this we are exploring the right child of 4 that is 5 its horizontal distance will be minus 1 plus 1 that means 0 and 5 will be stored in the queue and 5 will be stored in the in the hash table also in the row number 0 so you can see that uh, the element uh, uh, 5 is, is getting stored after 7 because one entry is already there in the hash table which is non-zero so we'll be searching for a zero entry and we'll store the 5 at the first zero that we find then we are removing the element 11 from here and 11 has a left child 9 so its horizontal distance will be 1 minus 1 that is 0 so 9 will be stored in the queue and 9 will be stored there in the hash table also at uh, row number 0 now 14 is the right child of 11 and its horizontal distance should be set as plus 2 so 14 is here and 14 should be stored in the plus 2 number row of the hash table having done this we are removing another element that is 2 and 2 has a left child as 1 so its horizontal distance should be set as minus 3 so 1 should be stored there in the minus 3 number row and on the right of 2 we have 3 so minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 is the horizontal distance of node number minus 3 so 3 should be stored there in the queue and 3 should be stored in the minus ro 1 row number of the hash table now next element that is getting deleted from the queue is 5 and 5 has no left child 5 only has a right child so for the right child the horizontal distance is a bit uh, incremented by 1 so uh, 6 has uh, horizontal distance of 1 it is getting stored in the queue and it is getting stored in the hash table also at uh, row number plus 1 now after this we have uh, the node number 9 which has a left child as 8 so 8 will have a horizontal distance minus 1 0 minus 1 becomes minus 1 8 is getting stored in the queue and 8 will be stored in the minus 1 number row of the hash table Okay, so the next data item that is picked is uh, right of the 9 and right of 9 is 10. It should be the horizontal distance of this 10 node should be plus 1. And 10 is stored in the queue and 10 is stored in the hash table also. And after this we have another node that is 14. 14 has a left child, 12. Its horizontal distance should be set as plus 1 because 2 minus 1 will be plus 1. So uh, for the data item 12, stored in the plus 1 number row and 12 will be stored in the queue also. After this we will see that uh, 1 is getting deleted which does not have a left or the right child. 3 is getting deleted that also does not have a left or the right child. 6 also uh, is getting removed which does not have a left or the right child. 8 is also does not have a right or the left child. 10 to and 12 to. So we are done with the level order traversal and storage of the elements in the hash table. So if we only have to uh, print the level order traversal, it will be the order of the element that the, the that were stored in the queue. So the first element is 7, then 4, then 11, then 2, then 5, then 9, 14, 1, 3, 6, 8, 10 and 12 so this is the level order traversal what about the vertical traversal vertical traversal means when we are picking up the elements uh, from 
this state with this tree then vertically you can see that at the minus 3 uh, horizontal distance this node will be visible and at a minus 2 distance this node will be visible at a minus 1 distance we have a lot of nodes we have 4 we have 3 and then we have 8 so the information about all these have been stored there in the hash table so what are the nodes visible in the minus 1 level those are 4 3 and 8 from the hash table and if you print these in this order only we can find out the elements so 4 3 and 8 will be visible in the row number minus 1 uh, having printed these informations let's go for printing the information of the level number 0 because in the vertical view the nodes which will be visible will be 7 and then 5 and then 9 so 7 5 and 9 can be found with the hash table also similarly we can print the information of uh, nodes at uh, plus 1 level so that those at 11 6 and 10 and then 12 similarly for the plus 2 level we have only one node that is 14 so 14 will be printed from here so the vertical order traversal means that we are printing the information of minus 3 uh, horizontal distance that is 1 and then minus 2 horizontal distance that is 2 and then minus 1 horizontal distance 4 3 8 you just go through the uh, go through each of the row in the hash table and you will be able to find the information at zero at zero horizontal distance we have seven five and nine at plus one horizontal distance we have eleven six ten and twelve at plus two horizontal distance we have fourteen so what will what about the top view traversal in the top view traversal uh, the first nodes of each of the each of the horizontal distance will only be visible for example here we can say that the information of uh, minus 3 level will be visible only for node number 1 then 2 for minus 2 4 for minus 1 7 for 0 and 11 for plus 1 and 14 for plus 2 so if you see that in the hash table if you print the information of the first column only so that is the target information for the top view traversal so just print these information 1 2 4 7 11 14 i repeat these are the elements appearing at the first row of the hash table first column of the hash table now what about the bottom view traversal in the bottom view you will be able to see this node you will be able to see this node you will be able to see not this node because 8 will be overlapping this minus 1 ok so 8 will be seen in the minus 1 uh, level and then 9 will be seen for the 0 and then similarly for plus 1 12 will be seen the last node which is appearing and for plus 2 vertex with information 14 will be visible so if you see that in the hash table if you print the information of uh, only the last column in the every row that is 1 2 8 9 12 and 14 so these are the target informations so 1 2 8 9 12 and 14 these are the target informations to be printed so we have found that uh, these are the different traversal methods now let us try to uh, write the algorithm for the same so algorithm for the same can be uh, very easily found we need to have a reference of the hash table that because that is going to help us a lot in constructing the uh, algorithm or designing the algorithm so for designing the algorithm let's assume that t is the root node of the tree given and we need to have a q so let's declare a q that q needs to be initialized such that it contains zero element at the beginning and we need to have a hash table also the hash table will have uh, the total number of uh, uh, rows as 2h plus 1 where h is representing the height of the tree and uh, how many columns uh, it will have you just need to refer to the tree that how many columns can be there so the number of columns will perhaps be equal to h Okay, so the number of columns that is going to be h plus 1 not h because we are including 0 level node also the total levels that we obtain that will be helping us in finding this
sorry for the uh, inconvenience because of this noise in the surrounding and then we uh, once we have constructed this hash table all the entries of this hash table needs to be initialized as uh, zero so we are initializing all these entries as zero and uh, then we need to uh, set the horizontal distance of the root node so t is a root node let's say sd is representing the horizontal distance of this root node that is set as zero and this root node will be inserted in the queue by calling the nq function so t has got inserted in the queue after this uh, this uh, uh, information should also go in the uh, hash table also so let's say insert hash table is a function that will insert the information t or the root node into hash table now after this we'll be removing the element from the queue and we'll be finding the left and the right side so let's remove the element from the left and then from the right so the elements can be deleted from left and the right only if uh, we have the left and the right child existing so let's check it here if uh, the given node which is deleted is uh, let's say x let's say dq is the operation which is deleting a node from the queue if this uh, node has a left child it means its x dot left is not equal to null so that is an indication that uh, we can insert this node in the queue and in the hash table also so before putting this information in the queue or the uh, hash table let's set its horizontal distance that will be one less than the horizontal distance of its parent that is x after this let's insert this uh, node in the hash table insert in the hash table ht comma x dot left and then after this we need to enqueue this in the queue as well in the queue insert this x dot left after this we need to check the right child of the same node so we will have to check if the right child of this node exists or not so let's write it with a different color pen so if the right child of the given node exists if the x dot right is not equal to null that means the right child is existing in case the right child is existing the right child's horizontal distance will be set as plus one or one more than the horizontal distance of the parent so x dot horizontal distance plus one after this we need to insert this node in the hash table so insert in the hash table the information x dot right after this we have to insert this information in the queue also okay so we'll keep removing these elements from the nodes and will uh, from the queue and we'll keep looking at what uh, uh, if the left and the right is existing then we'll be putting them in the queue and the hash table so this will be possible only if the queue is not empty so it's, this is also a repeated operation so while queue is not empty you keep calling these functions and you'll get the answer okay in case you have to print the uh, level out of traversal then after watching the left and the right child you can print the information of the given node that will be the uh, level out of traversal so write x dot data and then look for another node on the queue so by the time there are information in the queue this process will continue so after this uh, we need to print the uh, vertical order traversal uh, since in the vertical order traversal you have to print the information of uh, every row so if in each of the row there are multiple entries so you need to find out that how many entries you have to print so you have to print the information just look at this hash table that you have to print the information in the hash table only till the zeros are not appearing the moment zero appears that will stop our operation of printing for example if we are there in the row number zero then after printing seven five and nine the next information is zero so as soon as we observe a zero we have to stop our operation so for vertical order traversal let's say 
r min is uh, representing the row minimum and r max is representing the maximum row you can find it out easily by how many rows you have like, there in, how many rows are there in the uh, hash table so uh, if we have found the height so r minimum will be equals to minus h r minimum will be equals to h and r max will also be h so this is the minus h and this will be plus h so you need to map this minus one minus uh, or negative row number to the positive row number i leave it for the programmers so for i equals to row minimum to row maximum do you have to search for the non zero information and print information so let's say j is the uh, iterator for the column side <coughs> or in then once we we are looking for any information in a cell and in the hash table at the given cell the entry is not equal to 0 so if the entry is not equal to 0 we will be printing that information so write as t i and j and after this we have to implement this way fine <coughs> so when the information has been printed and uh, uh, we are observing a zero then we'll look for the another row so this is the this is the vertical order traversal yes. now uh, for printing the information of the top view you just need to print the information of the first column so once again we need to go for row minimum to row maximum and then print the information of the first column so write h t i and the first column information so this is the top view having done the top view we need to go for the uh, bottom view also so for the bottom view uh, you need to print the last information so as we did in the vertical order traversal that we were searching for the non-zero information and printing the information and once the zero is observed we were stopping that so we need to find out the uh, zero information for the bottom view also but we will be printing the information only once we have found the zero so let's uh, once again traverse this so row minimum to row maximum do j equals to zero and while htij information is not equal to zero do j plus plus okay let's see th let's say that we have observed a zero so the for observing a zero the j should be here in the first row so but this is not the target information to be printed in fact the information just previous to this or information in previous column to this will be the information which is desirable so we will be printing the information of j minus one column in the same row so once the loop has finished we are printing the information of st i j minus one so this will actually be the bottom view traversal now we have designed a function uh, insert has to be so insert hash table function will also be working in the similar manner that we are looking for the information zero once we observe the information zero that is the place for the insertion so we have a 2d array that is hash table and then you can implement hash table as you desire so it is not essential that you take it in the 2d array only so we have a x data element just to be inserted in fact in the hash table we will not be storing the address of the node but we will be storing the information but in the queue we will be storing the address of the node so that we can find out the left and the right of the given node so uh, we have to uh, store this x dot data but the storage of the rex dot data will be there at row number x dot horizontal distance we do not know the column so we will be searching for the appropriate column in the x dot ht row so let's once again do the search operation while st in row number r at column number 0 is not equal to 0 you will be updating the c and as soon as you observe a 0 that is the place for the insertion so st in row and the column index 
the element x dot data will be inserted. So this is the algorithm for insert hash table. So you can see that we are making use of search of the zero at several places while writing this these algorithms. So this is very easy algorithm and uh, the vertical top view and the bottom view traversal are making use of uh, the level order traversal for doing such operation. So thank you everyone for watching this video. In case you have any query, you may uh, write your query in the chat in the comment box and uh, I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.